Wow, it's been a long time since we've seen this background, right? <laughs> Good morning. I'm back in London with my precious angel. Not that. <laughs> Her. So, I have some bittersweet news, but we'll get to that in a minute. Basically, I'm in London for a couple of days. I've actually been back in the UK for a while. I came back to work in the office and see my family and friends, and now I have a very very small amount of time to pack up this flat because it won't be around for much longer. I'll explain that in a minute but basically another reason you might not have seen me is I wasn't planning on actually filming anything while I was here. It's been a very tightly packed trip but somebody, me, <laughs> left her hard drive with the four videos that she pre-filmed um, on it at the airport in Incheon. So luckily it's waiting for me when I go back but I'm not super thrilled about that. That's why I've been quiet. I promise I haven't forgotten about you. But that's also why I've been posting a lot of short form content on shorts, TikTok, and Instagram in the meantime. So if you're ever thinking, Hermione has disappeared off the face of the planet, I'm probably on TikTok. So follow me over there if you want. Anyway, I thought we would do a little catch up in the London flat because a lot has changed since I've been here last. There have been some big renovation projects or some reasonable sized renovation projects that happened while I was away. So I'm gonna show you some of that and I'm also gonna do a little bit of packing because as I mentioned, I'm moving out and the rest of my family are moving out. I know I've explained the flat a few times before but basically a family member owns it. My nan was renting it and then she wasn't using it because of the pandemic so I sublet it from her and then I was like let me make it nicer for you which I did and then when I left she started actually using it all the time and also a few of my other family members use it as a place to work from home in the daytime so it's kind of been a free-for-all like we've all been using it so we all have to move out anyway let's get started I'm going to tiny let's get this place clean and then I can show you what it looks like ah oh, memories <laughs> let's start in the bathroom which is looking very different I'm trying not to show too much of the bathroom until I'm ready to do a little tour, but I guess you had a sneak peek. Let's do the kitchen. It's not that bad in here. Just needs a quick once over. Let's open the blind. Someone committed a crime and put this hideous gnome magnet on my beautiful fridge. I've never been so offended in my entire life. Thanks, family. Put them up there. I am going to change out my pyjamas in a minute, just give me a moment. A lot of you guys have asked me about how the contact paper holds up in the kitchen. I must have done this, what, like a year and a half ago now? Let's have a little flashback to a year and a half ago so I can remind you of what the whole process looked like of doing these vinyl countertops. I remember painstakingly cutting around this sink and trying to make it so perfect. It took such a long time but it was so worth it because the details will really make such a big difference. So honestly the extra time that it took to make it absolutely perfect was worth it because they turned out so so well. And I also did the fronts of the cabinets as well, if you remember, with this white vinyl contact paper. And this one had a textured wood effect on it and it didn't get any bubbles in it because it was really nice and thick and it just turned out so well. I was so pleased with it. I actually really missed doing vinyl contact paper. Look how good that turned out. So crisp, so clean. Oh, I love it. Anyway, let's see what they look like now. It's 
actually perfect. Nothing is coming up around the sink. No edges are coming up. The drawers are perfect. It actually looks like that was the kitchen it was meant to be. However, I think my family don't know how to use a cutting board properly. And I don't know who did this, but there is a perpetrator who did that. And there are a few little scratches here that do make me think that someone's been a bit heavy handed. Guys, no, look. <laughs> Someone has done this to my cutting board, and I think I know who it was, Uncle Will. Nan doesn't have the upper body strength for that. Anyway, the answer is they hold up really well if you treat them with care. I know I need to keep cleaning, but I just want to show you her. I love you. <sighs> Did I tell you that you have a little cousin in Korea? Yeah, a toaster. Maybe one day you'll be united. Okay, what I really want to do in here is the sink because it is covered in lime scale. What I don't know what is wrong with the water in London, but I've only just noticed it since coming back from Korea. But I'm just gonna try and get as much of this off as possible, and then I think the kitchen is kind of done enough. I'm gonna open the window because I'm gonna use this. This stuff is nasty. I think I need gloves. Okay, if you use this, oh, my tan looks good. Can you tell I've been in Italy? If you use this, you need to ventilate really, really well. I don't have a mask, but I'm gonna leave the room and let it sit for a few minutes. So, comes with a brush and I'm gonna paste it on like the really bad areas. This is what I use to clean around here when it was really, really, really bad. And then we're just gonna Go around the sink with that. Can I just show you the difference between this and this? So I'm gonna do the whole thing and come back. Okay, a lot of this sink is a bit of a lost cause, but you can't deny that that is looking better than it was. And now I'm gonna try and do something about these shelves and declutter a little bit. Most of this stuff isn't mine though, so I have to leave a lot of it, but let's get some stuff set aside so we can start packing. By the way, sorry about the angles in this video. I'm using a really small tripod that fit in my suitcase. That can go. Why is there a cheese grater as decor? My family have a lot to answer for. Can that go back where the cheese graters live? Where did the cheese graters live? There they are. That's mine. Why is there a tea strainer in it? No, we don't need that. This is mine. It's cute. I'm taking these seeing as my family don't know how to use them. Okay, that's better. Let me do a quick flat tour to show you what it looks like right now. By the way, this is not perfect. If I had another couple of days, I would have made it perfect, but um, really don't have much time. I have to go out in an hour or two to go and meet my manager in town, so busy bee. But let me just show you <laughs> what the flat looks like. So as you come in, this is the hallway, still looking the same as it did. To the left is the kitchen, which I have cleaned and tidied. We are not gonna talk about the lack of aesthetics going on in here, because I guess I'm moving, so it's not gonna look pretty, but it's clean, which is the main thing. You might notice there's some real tiles on the backsplash here, and that's because when the bathroom was done, I suggested just getting the tiler to come in and take off the old tiles tiles if you remember those and do a backsplash here and here as well just to tidy the place up a bit and I think it makes a huge difference and because it's not the peel and stick tiles anymore which was great I do think that the vinyl contact paper doesn't look as vinyl contact papery like this looks like a legit kitchen I love it anyway this is the rest of the kitchen my plants are looking a little stringy but they're alive just here I've just set aside like a little pile of stuff that I'm gonna start boxing up and wrapping in bubble wrap. This is the table and chairs, which I always thought was unnecessary at the end of the kitchen, but I guess my nan likes it. Not a huge deal has changed in here other than the tiles. And there is a new oven, which actually works, which is really nice. The old one didn't work at all. So that's great. And when they moved the oven and my fridge, this massive section of wall that wasn't painted is now on display. 
so I've got the rest of this color of paint. I'm gonna leave it behind. So I don't think I'm gonna have time to patch that up but I'll leave it so they can do it before the tenants come in. And of course, my beautiful, beautiful fridge. Still pride of place. My family are gonna take this for me. And I think the new tenants are very disappointed that the pink fridge is not staying. I'm so sorry, but I love that you have good taste. <laughs> But that's one last look at the kitchen. Let's move into the bathroom. Things are looking a little different already at the door. This is where the little utility space is. There's new tiles because the whole bathroom was redone. So all my peel and stick tiles came off. However, they held up so well that they were really difficult to get off apparently. So that's always a plus. When my family were doing this, my nan asked me for lots of input. So I said, maybe just get slate tiles for the floor because I feel like it's kind of classic. But I said, whatever you do, do not get gray wall tiles. And what did they do? Anyway, <laughs> it's not my problem. I don't live here anymore. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like. The bathroom has the same layout as it did before, but it's just much nicer. Everything in here was replaced and I mean everything, but I think the thing that made the biggest difference is that all of the weird boxing in has just been closed off and finished off really really nicely. I really like what they did here because they picked a storage unit for the sink so you've got extra storage. The bathtub is so nice and it's so nice that the shower actually works. There's a nice rain shower head. It looks so much better. I don't think I ever told you how bad the old bathtub was but the tap in the middle didn't work, you couldn't fill the bath with it, but the shower, the shower only had two settings, scalding hot and freezing cold. So I couldn't use it as a shower. So every night I would fill a bath and I would tamper with the shower to fill up the bath with scalding hot water and then just a bit of freezing cold. It worked, but this is so much better. As you come around, it looks like this. Towel rail is still on the wall. And this painting is still up here, which is nice. For some reason, it just looks a lot brighter in here as well. I don't know why, maybe it's just because it's new and fresh or because the sun's shining. That probably makes a difference, but yeah. This is the bathroom. Moving on, here's another look at the hallway. And sadly, a lot of these drawers are now empty, which is really sad. Let's go into the bedroom. This is what the bedroom's looking like. Pretty similar to how I left it. All of these drawers are empty as well. So sad. I am gonna miss this brick wall. I really, really love this. That's the view from the window. And then over here is the desk area. Again, the drawers are empty just did this one yesterday this is just all the stuff i'm using right now like my makeup but yeah all empty it's so weird the only thing that's not empty at the moment is this which has a few things left in it to tidy up one last look around here it's so weird to say goodbye and then most of the rest of this stuff will be packed up before I leave or taken by movers. Last but not least, let's look at the sitting room, which is really dark. It is a very sunny day today and I have my camera cranked all the way up, but it's still so dark in here. You can probably tell why I didn't like filming YouTube videos in here. <laughs> I actually don't think you can tell how dark it is, but it's almost like a cave because all of the trees have grown over where the sunlight used to come in. So it's just it's not good. <laughs> The sitting room looks pretty much the same except we put the old rug back down and I've taken my rug back and I'm putting it in storage. Shout out to Seoul, South Korea over here. Pretty much everything is the same except my fiddly fig dropped like a hundred leaves. Maybe he missed me, I'm so sorry. And then this is what the mantelpiece looks like. Over here we've started taking some of my books back to the island and my uncle put this big whiteboard on the wall so he could work in here but that's coming down soon too. But yeah, this is the sitting room. One last full look before I start taking things away and boxing them up. Hey, I've just uh, tried to brush up a little bit because I have a meeting very soon that I need to go to, but I just want to wrap up this little segment of the vlog because I I have some feelings. Sorry, sun is coming in and out all the time. Welcome to the UK. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna rain too. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, it's definitely bittersweet. Like, I actually don't feel attached to this place whatsoever, which makes me realize that the move to Seoul was 100% the right decision. I don't know, I don't really feel much about this situation. I'm kind of glad to put it behind me. I'm glad to be able to not have my stuff spread so thinly across so many different places. I'm gonna move all of my small things to the island and store them and 
my big furniture, so my pink fridge, my couch, and maybe my chest of drawers is gonna be looked after by family, which is really nice. I really appreciate that because obviously I started this new chapter of my life and I got rid of a lot of furniture when I moved out of my house on the island, but um, getting rid of it all just feels like I'm cutting some kind of invisible cord and I just don't think I'm ready. <laughs> Not to say that I'll live in Seoul for the rest of my life, but at the same time, I don't see myself settling in the UK if I was gonna live somewhere else. There are a few countries on my list that um, I would choose uh, if and when I leave Seoul. I'm sure I will miss this place at some point, it just hasn't hit me yet. So let's do some packing because I have about an hour or so before I need to leave and I really want to get some of like this stuff bubble wrapped up so I can put it in storage. I think I can give those to the charity shop. I remember these. They were from the charity shop for 50p. I will remember the stupidest things. I remember how much things were from the charity shop, but not like important information. Oh my gosh. All these finds that I forgot I had. Maybe if this stupid table and chair set wasn't in the way. Oh my God. I found some interesting stuff. Thought I'd show you. This thrifted plate that is so pretty. I'm gonna keep this. Putting all of the crockery in this basket so it doesn't get broken. Scissors would be handy right now. Oh, those are mine. Some measuring spoons. This jug, which is from the charity shop, which is really cute. God, if I could take all of this to Korea, I would, but that would be kind of ridiculous. <laughs> These bowls that I love, I'm gonna put them in storage because I don't want to get rid of them. Okay, this is what I'm taking from the kitchen, which I think is pretty good. Put a lot aside for the charity shop and lots of the stuff here that's left over belongs to Nan. So I'm just gonna leave that where it is. Oh no, I'm starting to feel sleepy. I need to get ready to leave. Hopefully once I get some fresh air, we're gonna feel bright and airy. I'm gonna bring you with me into London, go to my meeting. So yeah, come along. <laughs> Good morning, today's the day Kat's coming over. I'll be honest, I don't know how much I'll film while she's here, because I won't get to see her until Christmas, but we've got some fun plans, so I'm gonna see if I can get anything. I have made up the bed all nice for her, I've tidied the room, so let's have a fun weekend. I'm also really excited because I'm going to see the Barbie movie with her tomorrow and I've been waiting for two weeks because it came out as I left for holiday, so I was like, I'm gonna have to wait and it's been hard avoiding spoilers, but it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> so I need to find something pink in my wardrobe, which is really difficult, because as much as I love pink, I don't have much of it that I actually wear. So we'll see if there's anything left in here that's actually pink that will fit the brief. I'm gonna go and film some TikToks now. I wanna do some like thrifted faves, because I've got a few things here that I'm not taking to Korea, so I want to film them before I go back. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. I actually never really got to say a proper goodbye to the flat or show you the rest of my packing because after this I developed a really nasty chest infection. But I should have known by this foreshadowing. <coughs> oh, I'm already coughing, I haven't opened it yet. <coughs> oh my god. I don't know if I've got a cold or it's my allergies or what, but anyway, right. So because I couldn't say a proper goodbye, I thought it was only fair to take this time to just have a little flashback to remember the London flat and all of the joy that it brought me. I'm moving. Bye house. We'll miss you.
So this is the flat that I'm going to be moving into for a while. Good morning, Good morning. from London. Thin, thin skin, I'm underwater. Is this really happening? You stay silent, you don't mind. Happiness a dollar size to you. What about not stealing anyone's time? Anyone's time. This flat gave me a place to stay when I was feeling lost and a new lease of life after feeling so isolated during the pandemic. This place was more than just a set of makeovers, it was a step between my old life and my new life, which I am so grateful for. I will forever cherish the time that I spent here. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks so cool! Mm. Oh, it's so This video is to remind current me that there is a version of me in the future listening to her favourite song, living in an apartment, somewhere on the other side of the world, and I'm happy. Maybe I have a golden retriever. Who knows? I did it. I can't believe it's done. It's done. We'll see if I get it now, so... Sit around 